Hello everyone, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today is going to be a quick one. I'm going to show you how to install Get Simple CMS. It's so simple that you don't even need a MySQL database. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to get-simple.info, click on download, and I'm going to download the latest version. In this case, it's going to be 3.3.10. Click on the load and I'm going to save the file. Now, I already downloaded a few times, uh, but without any delay, as you can see here, I'm double clicking on the actual file, double click on the folder and the first thing I'm going to do is upload the file to my server. I already got here the FTP open through the uh, file explorer. I'm not using FileZilla, but you're welcome to use FileZilla or any other FTP program. I'm going to select all and I'm going to copy it by dragging and drop it. Now it shouldn't be long, it's not quite big file, so we're talking around 3 or 4 meg in total. While it's uploading, I'm going to the dashboard. Don't forget to follow me on uh, all social media. You can follow me on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and don't forget Instagram too. The website is ready it will be uh, up and running by the end of next week now without any delays let's go start with the tutorial and this is where I'm going to install the get simple uh, CMS Make sure I refresh, everything looks fine. There we go. Now the first thing you want to do is you type your URL forward slash admin. Everything looks okay, everything is writable and everything is being installed. Don't forget to set up your language. You can download languages here by clicking on the link download languages right I'm going to use the standard in US so I'm going to click on continue with setup and I'm going to type the website name username and email address There we go, uh, now I'm going to click install now and everything has been installed, yes, no MySQL, nothing whatsoever. Now don't forget to change your um, password, I'm going to show you as well how to do this now. I'm going to click login here. Don't forget to change as you can see here, I'll click it and at the bottom here I'm going to type the new password. And I'm going to save the settings. The settings, as you can see, has been saved. I'm going to click on the top here. And there we go. This is the actual CMS working. That's the title we put in. This is the actual, uh, no pages. You know, this is the home page that where you can actually, uh, and I'm going to show you as well in a second how to edit. It's quite simple. Very simple CMS. I'm going to click on pages and as you can see here, welcome to get simple. I'm going to click it. And here you can find the content that you can actually see here. 
So if I'm going to delete the lot, there we go. Of course, you can uh, edit the source code if you want. I'm going to save the update and over here I'm going to refresh it and as you can see here is the welcome welcome to get simple is simply edited by here okay and again I'm save the updates here you get the page options okay visibility is normal or you can have a private if you want to you can parent it to another page and here the actual template you can have a multiple template as well but you know for different pages if you wanted to at the moment we go to cardinal innovation i'm going to cardinal and activate the template and when i refresh it you can see the new ones if i go to the main website here you can find a lot of other things not only you can find the uh community forum most very important wiki if you need more information here it tells you how to uh, add the more templates plugins right it's quite straightforward very easy to use and as you can see here no many options so it comes with uh, two already plugins installed and as you can see here it came with two also templates you can actually create uh, backups and here you can actually upload your files nothing else really there are settings here as well but none of many the settings were the one uh, you seen it before when I changed the password and that's it really this is the actual login part, part of it you can go to the main website here and you can add of course the menu based on pages you have thanks again don't forget to follow me on my social media don't forget to subscribe and like and share my videos if you can so you, that will help me a lot thanks again and uh, i'll see you next time